Glen Trayer Mountain Man Journals, Trayer Wilderness. Um, today I'm going to be uh, building something. Uh, i got to make a set of car ramps for changing oil and, uh, you know, working up underneath, you know, like trying to get up underneath to work on your starter, pull starter out, whatever you got to do up underneath your vehicle. Uh, kind of make it a little bit easier uh, to get up there and to work on it. Um, especially as you can see, I got stones here. I don't have a nice macadam asphalt driveway or concrete or, or anything like that to work on. So trying to get in underneath there, um, scooching around can be a literally a pain. <laughs> um, so <coughs> what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using this. This is off of an old uh, house trailer travel trailer a um, friend of mine uh, gave these to me um, so uh, George I appreciate it um, and uh, I'm going to build my ramps out of this so that being said I'm going to take and uh, start uh, getting my width and cutting everything down and I'll once I get it drawn out and stuff um, I'll show you where I'm at and how I'm doing it and all that good stuff so I'll be right back with you all right guys so I got everything laid out here um, I'm gonna show you this um, it's gonna be uh, 20 20 the ramp coming up is gonna be 28 inches long 12 inches and in, that where your vehicle can the tires will sit on and then 12 inches down um, these are going to be some sturdy ramps. Um, I'm not going to have to worry about uh, these things ever collapsing on me, that's for sure. Um, I don't know what you'd pay for a set of ramps like this. I don't even think you'd get a set of ramps this heavy anywhere. But uh, that's uh, the nice thing about making things yourself. So... Um, I just thought I'd show you this too, quick. Um, setting up your gauges. Uh, I'm gonna set back here, step back here, and uh, do this. Um, when you're gonna, I'm, when you're getting ready to turn on your tanks and stuff, um, <coughs> a couple little things that you want to remember. Uh, I'm not, you know, by no means a professional or anything like that but a um, couple safety tips here when you're done with your um, torch at the end of the day or whatever um, always take and bleed out your lines now there's no I've already bled this out I haven't turned this on yet today but so you can see there's no oxygen in there that's your oxygen and this is your settling. Now I have the settling tank on already, so there's some coming out of there. Um, but uh, as far as your tanks, when you go to turn them on, uh, always take and, and and I don't know if you can see me. I'll try and get in the picture here, but always turn away and look away and just crack barely open that um, valve. I don't have much oxygen. Hopefully I have enough to do what I need to do. I don't know if I'm going to. But uh, anyways, um, your, these here, if there's oxygen, if there's stuff left in, in these um, regulators and stuff, they can actually blow on you. Um, I forget the technical term for it. But uh, you, you, they can actually blow on you. So you just want to take and crack them just a little bit let that get into the system and then open it up the rest of the way on both your tanks so just a little safety tip there because um, if you just go ahead and crack that sucker wide open like I said I forget the technical term on it but it can actually blow on you and uh, cause some serious injury so just be careful when you're you know you're doing this um, <coughs> alright so so back over here um, hopefully you can see everything okay there 
I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. I'm gonna use my uh, <clears throat> shield, my welding shield, uh, to um, as my cutting glasses always wear some kind of like should wear regular cutting glasses, but some kind of dark lensed glass. And I'm just gonna wear my welding shield as my glasses when I to cut this steel. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Um, I'm probably hit, I don't know my, the way my oxygen's looking. I don't think I'm gonna have enough, but uh, we'll give her a try here. So I get this cut and I'll get right back with you. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. So run out of oxygen. So I'm gonna have to resort to the grinder and a cutoff wheel, which you know can work, give you a little nicer cuts sometimes. So just gonna switch it up here and go from there so it's gonna start, start cutting here keep going on this uh, I'm not going to bore you it'll take a little bit to get through everything but um, I'll when I get it all cut I'll get back with you all right guys so I got uh, I got this all cut pretty much um, it's gonna go like this this will get welded Come on like this. Hopefully you can see everything okay. And then my back this part here. Get welded on. I have to cut those angles so it meets up. But uh I'm gonna take it before I get that angle I'm gonna weld this front on then I can get my exact angle that I want for my ramp using my angle square to get you know to get that exact angle that I want those cut at so so I'm gonna get this welded up and uh, I'll uh, get back with you okay guys hopefully you can hear me okay this welder's running thought I'd show you something here A little trick I got a pretty good sized gap in there. As you can see, I had to really expand my weld out. Got a really big gap there. That's over. I already did it to one right there. Um, actually, two rods. Um, but I had like a over a quarter inch gap in there. Okay. What I did was I took some an old rod and I knocked the um, flux off of it and I just laid those in there like that and that'll help me bridge that gap fill that gap in now it's not as strong but I won't have to worry about it with this I'm gonna take and come across my corners um, with reinforcement steel and stuff like that so I won't have to worry about it but something structural um, you know, stuff like that, you probably wouldn't want to do, wouldn't want to do something like that, but for this it's okay. So I just thought I'd show you that little trick, um, kind of fill in your gap there, chew up some of that area. So, alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so we just finished up our, um, our, uh, ramps and uh, I had some help on this 
Um, finally got them done. I think you could probably drive a stinking deuce on these things and they wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't come down. You won't ever f find a pair like this anywhere. Um, kind of show you what all I did here. Okay, so what we got is I took and welded these cross pieces, kind of give it some grip as it went up. You know, the truck goes up over there. I welded these pieces of angle on the front here to kind of, you know, stop it. And uh, welded the plates, these plates. Oh, here, let, oh, sorry. Move you down here a little bit. Um, welded those plates on on the sides, on the other side to give it support. And then I have a piece here, right here, uh, that I welded. I can see there. Welded that up across there to support that. Um, uh, it, it, that that piece there in the middle is an inch and inch by inch solid stock, so that'll never have to. You, you'll never move that thing. <laughs> so, like I said, I think you could drive a deuce on that and not uh, not have to worry. So, well, um, I guess come over here. Guys, um, this has been our little uh, ramp project, kind of changing oil and whatnot. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you got something out of it. And, uh, you know, have stuff like this or find stuff like this. You can build your own stuff and a lot better than what you can buy. Um, so, well, I guess with that being said, guys, take care. God bless. And, uh, We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.